Hello, thanks for joining me. Welcome along to our latest look at the conditions across parts of South Asia and indeed the Middle East for the next few days or so. This is the way it's looking on the satellite picture. Quite a plume of cloud there coming in the top end of the Arabian Peninsula on through Iran and Iraq, so it's not wall-to-wall -wall sunshine there. There's a better chance of that, I suspect, as you come into parts of Pakistan and the northern parts of India. Coming a little bit further south, as you saw on the satellite picture, there is a little bit more in the way of cloud here, uh, and it could at times produce one or two showers through Kerala, uh, coming towards Tamil Nadu and in through parts of Sri Lanka as well. Uh, that's the exception to a pretty dry rule across the bulk of South Asia. Uh, there are some more showery bursts uh, to be had. Again, depending on elevation, it could be watery, it could be wintry uh, as you move up into the northern states of India and indeed uh, towards the northern parts of Bangladesh. Looking further north, there's been a real problem with nighttime temperatures across Afghanistan. They've been as low as they have been for about 15 years or so. Uh, and as we look at the league tables, you'll notice that even by day it doesn't get much, much warmer at this time of year in places like Ashtonar. Coming further south, as I say, it's largely fine and dry, maybe just one or two showers away towards the south of India and Sri Lanka.